Good afternoon. Uh, good evening, even. <laughs> we were going to vlog a little bit today, but we've been pretty busy with shopping. So that kind of took all of our focus, unfortunately. And there were so many people around everywhere. And there were so many people around. Now we are going to have dinner to this place we can say next door because it's like super close. Our local. And we're gonna have a dish that is called sukiyaki. This is what we ate. No. No, how is it called? It's not called sukiyaki. Wait, it's have... called hankoyaki or no. something. No, it's called hobayaki. So we went to this place a few days ago, or maybe a week ago. I don't know when something. it was. And we didn't film because we thought that it was gonna be nothing like so remarkable to film, but it was. For me, the best dish that I've ever had in all Japan since when we arrived. So we figured that because we are going now, we might bring you along with us and show you this delicious food in this super cute place. Lovely couple running the, the restaurant, like super, super nice. And probably this video will be connected with the video from tomorrow where we are going to do some more stuff and entertain you more. Alrighty, shall we go to eat? Mm. Hungry! All right, I just want to show how actually local is the place. So this is where we live. And... They have? This right. is the place! Ready? I wish I could give you the name of it. It's called something Japanese. That's, for sure. That's how it's called. I can try to put the location of it, maybe. Yes, let's go in. Let's go in, let's go in. Konnichiwa! Huge turnout of the fact. It's reservation only. I don't know if it's weekend. Maybe on weekends it is reservation uh, only. No, it's not that it's reservation only. I reckon it's just all the tables were reserved today. But wait, if we want to go to the other one, is there? Okay. Right. So we are going there tomorrow evening instead, which is not too bad because what we are going to do, we are going here for dinner and then we are going back to the Izakaya where we went the first night so we, we have, can bring you there we have well, to have just a couple of skewers there right I yeah guess, yeah well. and now we are going to another place that we spotted today when we were walking back home uh they looked very cute as well so we will check that out instead so we have plenty of choices around here and to be honest i feel that all the places that we ate around our place they've been the best ones yeah. not the one that we and walked this one. Looks like yeah this the one worst place most plain okay but it always has the longest of queues i'm gonna show you a little bit how it looks that's how it looks yeah there is always a long long queue but we figured that they have some uh, soupish dish I think so. We feel like hard to tell as well oh, yeah. because there is no English no menu. English left there. Anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, now we just walk at the end of this super cute street. I like that they have the lamp post like a full moon. lily of the valley, full moon down there. And this area where we stay is like non-touristic at all. I think we've seen maybe three westerners in three weeks that we've been here yeah working around and one westerner who was actually local one the one in the car do you remember with the oh yeah yeah theater. that's true that's true so yeah it's, it's so nice we're so happy that we stayed in this area which is called tanimachi uh we are staying close to the station tanimachi six there is tanimachi four tanimachi six tanimachi nine but we are staying in the six, which is right Chome. in the middle. Chome. Anyway, and it's literally walking distance pretty much from everywhere. Like we can walk to the Osaka Castle in 20 minutes. We can walk to Dotonburi in 30 minutes. Uh, so yeah, those are like the two main, main area. 
We usually take the tram to a destination and then walk back. So we always do that. At the yeah, at the beginning we actually kind of like walked a bit too much because we always walked to the destination, walked we around. Walk too much. Yeah, but I mean, just to say like what happened, we left early in the morning usually. We walked towards the destination, we walked the whole day until 8, walked back home and then you are dead and you cannot do anything and like, you know, you want to go out in the evening, you don't have energy, so then after we tried to take the tram towards the tram, the train towards something, walk around, walk back and then you still have some energies to go out in the evening because we are really like non-stop, like so many people I think they take breaks during the day when they sightseeing, but me and Winter we just walk non-stop. Maybe this video has to be its own video just because I'm talking so much it's becoming super long. Anyway we are arrived to the other place in the meanwhile. <laughs> Never been here before but we passed it today, today, 20 minutes ago and it seems very cute as well and they have all the, yeah it looks that they have a big menu. Yeah, let's go inside. Hopefully they have some English sort of menu. Shall we do this video like if it's a live video? <laughs> we just, I'm gonna hang it in my neck so we see a bit what, how it goes. So, something tells me that there is no English here. <laughs> I'm such in a mood of sparkling sake. Okay, this is just drink menu, I figured. Maybe we need to ask for English menu. Arigato! You have English menu. You? Pasta or that or Okay. I think there are pictures anyway. We can. Yeah. Okay. Arigato. Arigato. There is no English menu, but we can kind of get some feel. Yeah, that's good. And kind of get a feeling from. Oh my god, look at this meatball with the egg. Vincent! Oh, 128 is not too bad. This sashimi bowl, 180. Arigato! Do you want to order oh, drink? Or? They brought us some white bait and some other things. Interesting. Interesting. This is literally. This is white bait, it's like the super fish. tiny fish. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of alright when you have pictures. Of course, it's hard to understand each thing, what it is connected to that. Some usually it's more about sizes, like small, medium, large. Mmm, croquettes. Mmm, fried octopus. So it's yummy. The thing with these ones is that you never know the portion. But let's try our starters. Get some fishes with the algae. This one is the fish. Oh my god. Mm. I'll try this one as well. This seems a little bit like a potato. Smashy. It's mixed with squid. Nice. It's very nice. Yeah. That's like a little starter free of charge, actually. Yeah. This one. <laughs> like complimentary. Mm. Like yeah, I want to see your reaction to the little fishes because I think it's either something that one likes or doesn't like. It's nice, isn't it? It's like completely boneless. Tastes like if you take a piece of like yeah, mm. fish in little hole and now everyone knows what you're talking about. Yep. And it's really tasty. Really yummy. <laughs> so we got the first course. We are sharing everything, just so you know. It looks like a sort of like beef that is not 100% cooked, which is nice. And it has like some onion jam around. 
and a lemon cilantro, which I always love. Go on, Vince, try. It's nice. Yeah. Is it hot or cold? It looks cold, yeah. So it's more like a roast beef almost. So I'm removing the onion jam just because it's very onion-ish. I couldn't even tell that it was onion. <laughs> And I'm also gonna squeeze the lemon on top. Lemon and let me add a piece of because I feel this is gonna be the bone. It's a mix of different kind of mushrooms, different kind of lettuces, onion, unfortunate broccoli, yum. I feel you need soy, but try first. It's yummy. Is it marinated in something? Is it marinated in something? Trying to figure out. From your reaction, it has to be. It cannot be just plain. It's marinated. In what? Oh, why? Let me try. See, that's what I'm so bad at. It's so hard to. Dis oh, I'm such difficulties in like describing taste. For you know sure. Why? At the bottom. At the bottom is you, you already mix it, you know, just you got a bit of everything. Mm. Well I just got one of them. Ah uh, fair enough. Do you see this? It's like peppercorns. Yeah, do you see this broccoli thing? That's the marinade. Yeah. Mm, so yummy. It's really good, isn't it? And then like spring sauce. onion on top. It's a pepper sauce. Yeah. Super nice. Apparently we're two different choices. We the first. And uh, since the menu is completely in, in Japanese and the, the um, people who work here or the, who owns it, they speak only Japanese. She tried to say that there were two different things and what it was, but she obviously spoke Japanese. So we just decided to go for one randomly. So, yeah. Why did we have this place only now? <laughs> Oh Lunch time here tomorrow. Are you ready to see the most epic sashimi in the whole history of the epic sashimis? What? <laughs> oh my god, look at this composition, guys. Oh my god. I'm a bit jealous. And Vincent ordered some super onion y beefy thing. That's totally a Vincent dish. <laughs> well, I suppose let's start with this banquet. Wow. I have like four different kinds of sashimi a tuna, like she told me, but in Japanese I didn't understand much. Tuna, I think that's a scallop or something. Another kind of tuna. Yes, this is gonna be just like mind blowing. Okay, try yours. Yummy? Very different from the one from before? Yeah? Alright, a little review. All the sashimi was delicious. Those two, very, very nice. Oh my god, this the big chunk of tuna, it's amazing. And it's something like charcoal grilled on top here. So melty, so juicy, so beautiful. I will miss you, big chunk of tuna. And tomorrow we have our last day here. We are just trying to figure out what to do to make it remarkable. Uh, so I hope you want to look at that and watch that. What? I need to take care of my washing.
for my laundry. You have to. Yep. Yeah, we did laundry this morning. No, was it yesterday? Yes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm tired. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.